Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, I'm doing today this uh, <coughs> walkthrough for this new room whistle. Uh, it seems there's two ways to do it. I was trying yesterday, there's one for mounting the drive, and there's one we're supposed to get previous excavation. Uh, we'll talk about it just now. Let's start first running a map. SC minus SV 10.10.207. Uh, 217 <coughs> it was a, bit, a very interesting room uh, okay so let uh, let it run let me open bigger screen so you can have bigger uh, view <coughs> um, Let's do that. The IP, I remember it. I did this, so we check it just now, but I still remember what I found. <coughs> Sorry. I know that this part there, eight uh, triple. Uh, yeah, the first thing I was thinking, or thought about it is uh, is uh, Jupiter. Is there some kind of. Uh, Vulnerability that has Jupiter server, so then you see it has have a token or something, and then remember our friend. Uh, uh, he, uh, what is it? Uh, let me go back. Okay, let's see. Last scan minus a uh, ten ten dot two oh seven dot two seventeen. <coughs> Okay, we have the triple eight, which we already have there. Uh, then we have this SMB. <coughs> Sorry, this is other funny pots. Okay, how is our friend there? Okay, we can see now. Let me make this one a bit bigger. So we, we have the, the SSH, the RPC, this Windows stuff, the terminal server, SMB. So we have the the triple eight, and then so because SMB and ST uh, is, is a CTF. So <coughs> let's see if we can ask, ask can access any share to SMB. SMB client. Let's see if you can access with the uh, new pass or the guest account. So we have my L. So the IP is 10.10.207.217. Let Let's see what we can get here. Let's put this one. So we have this, this, this. There's a big chance we can access this one. So let's try that one. Uh, data because the room is about it so let's try that one we can get it we get this lastly <coughs> we can see requirement we can get requirement we can get we saw I didn't find any interesting stuff on them because uh, as I said we can say cut requirement it's a pond dynamic cut we saw uh, we saw it give you this uh, link to things but if we go we have a directory is this paper picks and then miss if you go to that directory and we can have we get Jupyter token so you can get Jupyter token <coughs> sorry so we can cut Jupyter then we have a token as uh, the creator of the room, he said he, he put it an easy, uh, and then they told him no, it's not that easy. Then they change it to, uh, to what do you call it, to medium. So we have all this. It's more like research uh, stuff. Uh, if you go to this, is PDF, some stuff. Is nothing there. In any case, <coughs> sorry. So running the cluster file, 
Okay, if we go to new now, Python 3, so we can run Python script, we can add file, we can add files. So, I saw many people they, they doing the other approach. I'm not doing the that approach that most people use it. I'm <coughs> trying something different now. You can go to Python the reverse shell, but you have already terminal in front of you, so I don't see uh, there's no point of uh, wasting time there. So you already have access to the terminal, so you can work directly from it. Okay. We access now the terminal. I only was able to figure out the the new. Uh, so if we go there, you see there's something there in testing the file. This file. Look, this file is is is, a, is an SSH uh, private key. So the first thing come to your head when you see private keys is, is can I use it? So if we go there. <coughs> Let's say key. Let's put the key there. Of course, when you do the key, you need to lower the permission, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, let's put uh, the key. I can go minus i key. So what is the username? If you go here, you say dev data. That's who I am. But if you go to the key name, you see it's dev lower privilege so you can assume this is the username so if I put there and I go 10.10.207 10 if everything is working I will go straight login and you can see I'm inside the Windows system <coughs> remember these Linux things it was add in window, Windows when they start allowing and starting with Linux so if you go directory here and you go to the desktop you see that's your flag of course guys you can do it user.txt you can find your flag so we have the first flag now how to do the second flag it's a windows <coughs> I'm not doing the the mounting of C drive that other way I'm trying to do how to do the privilege scalation here of course tool of trade is we have wimpies and we can use this I like this one to be honest so let's try that one now we can use this to detect our system previous escalation so let's get it it's this one uh, raw oh this is the file okay so we can go here uh, we can come back to our machine uh, sorry oh, it froze <laughs> okay let's get the file uh, sorry I'm in Linux now so we have now the the, the, the file so we can run our uh, <coughs> Python server minus n http dot server so now we need to copy this one this is a mini way to copy it but in my case we already have curl installed in this machine can we can just that my IP address is 10.10.52.201 10 the port is 8000 then the file I need it the output <coughs> output so it's the same file name let's do that uh, sorry Okay, we have now the file. We we did copy the file now, so we have the previous check. Now we can follow our uh, our room. You see, now we need to go to PowerShell, so we can know exactly what we're doing. First, we need to PowerShell. <coughs> Sorry, PowerShell. 
with it or because this script you need to disable some stuff so I think it's uh, a set exclusive uh, policy because uh, most of this previous extension is in the previous uh, previous room of try hack me so we can follow them and you can see the next one now the script will run and see what's interesting we can use and then what's the problem we'll have later on you can see now it's running so let's make sure what we got it's running normally now so let's follow <coughs> nothing found and now we found 11 this is uh, the services non default services and then where is the interesting stuff where is it not variable not variable uh, is still working oops this is DL hijacking you see this is interesting part you see we have to use an password. I already did this before. You can have it's the same one now. The same thing is my file. So we got this. This is interesting. You see, we have a password for our user. The the was the one we we already <laughs> log in with. <coughs> this uh, low privilege user. Remember, we got it from here. This low privilege user. So this is interesting. So we keep that in mind. So we already I have it there. Now we look for the one that is more also interesting. This is bit local. Uh, DLL hijacking. This is the the one that is it's, so it's very interesting. This always install elevate. And then if you go to try hack me, you can see uh, they're talking about it. You see, you can install. I need to tell you the the venom, reverse shell, all of that. So we'll concentrate on this one. You can see now, we have that one. And then at the end of the script, after you finish running, you can see it's still in your air. It's high risk. Always install elevate. Now, if you follow, uh, always you can follow it's the same pattern. But in Trihook room it's always so we have this. You create your uh, um, sorry uh, your shell list. Let me copy. So it's basically the same thing as here. <coughs> sorry. So now use the verb to create MSI file. So this is there. New tab. Let me change my IP because this is the one I created in the morning so my IP address is 52.201 I'm doing port 1234 uh, name is share MSI and then um, the output of course is MSI let's do that and I can NC minus LV and P uh, port 1234 let's leave that one there let's finish this one of course now we need to copy the shell so so this is the result of the scan uh, let me go out of this uh, the power uh, the power shell I don't need it anymore uh, now we copy in the shell dot msi and let's do that quickly shell dot msi and make sure it's finished okay uh, we have the msi that's the file so now let's copy it we already have uh, our python server is still working so let's get it <coughs> sorry here where things start becoming interesting when you try to run it let me uh, use that command again. Um, it's 
something like that. Let's let's get this one uh, because I was searching. Let me make sure. You see, if we if we run it, okay. After I run all of this, one thing you you should you tell you always make sure to write the full path for the the file that you want to to install. So we know the file is in this. So let's follow. So I'll explain to you why things got spitted strange yesterday. I spent time on it. So we have uh, shell dot msi. <coughs> let's book the the qn is silently installed msi package because basically when you install a package in msi usually you want to install windows say click next next and ok and all of that so when you use this option qn is like silently install the package <coughs> uh, and that's why we use it here so you have the qn the l V, it's like extra verbose installation. The reason why I did that so that you can see where is the problem, why it's not installing. Uh, did it? Is it uh, no, this one doesn't have the log. Uh, enabling log, the log in my is L, but this one like extra verbose log. Okay, the log I want to let's call it report.log. Now, this is the first one I stunt yesterday, almost the whole afternoon on it. So usually it's supposed to install it, but for whatever reason is not. So let's run it. It finished without nothing. Now if you go to there, there is nothing happening. We don't have shell here. Uh, reverse uh, the the reverse shell we're looking for. Now we can go to more report, and you see what's happened now. It's a the client side and UI is non or basic running entire on the server. The graphics and mutex failed to connect to server. <coughs> I was searching the whole yesterday about this problem. Why is is not working? Uh, some they will talk about maybe you don't have a privilege because this user is low privilege user. Maybe doesn't have power or right. Uh, some argument, but the way the Amazon is in silent mode, and then you know when you press OK next on all of that, and then it's only this morning when I start saying how to run a different user. Then remember we have this, well, we have this information. So then what happened to my head? I said, how about? There is a, a, a another rooms in window uh, in the Triac. Remember when we use run? You mean you can run something? In, but it's strange because we are logging as the same user. Because remember now, we are logging on this, and it doesn't work like that. Watch what happened when I do this. Remember now. I'm not changing user, I'm, I'm using the same user, this one, but using the run as command. So the, it's the same file, the same, so we're in I, C, and quite. When I add the log, it doesn't work. I, I remove the log. Then watch if I do this. Let me get the password. This is the password we got it from the scan. Okay. So this one is open. And let's try this. Now we ask for the password, they give him his own password. Now let's see that. It didn't work. It worked in the morning. Why now it's not working? Okay, let's do. Uh, my goodness, it, it did work in the morning. One, two, three, four. Let me show sure that MSI was correct. Ten, ten, fifty, two, two, one, one, two, three, four. Huh. Uh, it's very funny. It did work for me in the morning. I was before I did this video. Ruizia Dev, Amasai, you see. No, it didn't work because I did, actually the file is not in the path. In the, uh, 
it's under desktop the file is under desktop I forgot in the morning I didn't so so now it's in desktop so the file uh, we didn't put the full path okay so put password now let's go to that and then we have remember then we have directory then if we go there go there I was very happy when it, it worked directory you know we can go to administrator directory cd desktop directory and you can you can get the root password the root flag because the idea now this MSI because this uh, remember this uh, th th these things of um, where is it <coughs> this always install elevated because the way why it were because you can install even if you are low privilege user you can run this script as an administrator and that's why we get this shell <coughs> sorry that's why it work now no I can't expl explain why it's working uh, why it's working because remember when we tried this one as a, as a normal direct uh, execution it didn't work you see now when I run it as um, a normal MSI it didn't work for me many times so now when you run it as uh, as we did here as run as I don't know why it work it work but it work and that's your root flag and that's exactly what happened I hope these guys the other option guys the, the other the other option I know other people what they did they did s u d minus l and they see here they see you can have um, this Jupyter and then you can put uh, you can put a bash script uh, like ch mod deploy s uh, binary bash and then you, you and then uh, you become root uh, and then offer you 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 do mount the C drive in empty uh, the MNT and then you have C you mount at uh, the C drive so that's another approach but this is the approach I thought if anyone knows why <coughs> why this command work when you're in it run as and why this one doesn't work please let me know in the comment if you have a different idea, please share it. Thank you very much and have a great day. Thank you, everybody.